It was a Thursday morning. I typically don't run on Thursdays. That morning, it was very cold for California. And as I was setting my running app, I see a car pull up and this big guy jumps out the car. He turned around and he saw me. All the results came in and, and he says, you've been stabbed seven times. I said, me? <laughs> I said, seven times? I said, where? Right? <laughs> like, come on, right? He says, five times in your back and you have some cuts as well. He says, and at least two times in your eye. And I began to think about my children and my wife and I began to think about the work that I have for the church. I got a text from uh, Ivan and he says, Curry, I need you to call me now. And when he, I called him, he said, uh, I've been attacked. I'm okay. I'm in the hospital now. And they kind of told me his, what he was going to need from me in terms of communicating with his team and his staff. When I got off the phone, I started crying. I called a staff meeting, an emergency staff meeting, where the pastor got on the phone and talked with the staff. Um, who was all in shock. It was pretty tough. You know, I've always been the one who has served them, and I did not want them to experience pain from my life. Unless you're actually an active pastor, it's hard to really tell someone how much you give out, weekly basis, daily basis. 24 hours a day on calls. People from the Prime program, when they heard the news, uh, they instantly got together on a Zoom call, pastors all over the country, and they began to pray for me, for my family, for my church. It was a, a flood of other pastors coming and offering assistance in any way, shape, or fashion. It was just wonderful. Um, how they responded, and I felt like I really had a team of people, a cohort of people, a posse of people who understood what it feels like to be a pastor who's in distress. In my ideal world, what I would give to black pastors is a very strong support system. And if I can say nothing else about Prime. I will say that's one thing we've seriously accomplished. It is comforting to know that uh, you're supported and somebody gets it. Pastor Pitts has been seen as a mentor and a role model and a leader for so many pastors that the opportunity to help him and the congregation was very beautiful. I'm glad to see him up and well and getting better every day. It's great to see Ivan doing well. I mean, you look at Ivan today and you see very little of the trauma unless you were there, right? And especially with his personality, you wouldn't know, but you know that it's there and you know that that's in the back of his head and in his heart. I'm not going to be stuck in February the 24th. My pain does not give me permission to pause the powerful faith that I practice. And we often use our pain as an excuse to not practice the faith, this faith that is rooted in love. And so my pain, real, does not give me permission to pause the powerful faith that I practice. And so that's, that's how I've changed. More committed, more focused, and so I'm really more concerned about getting the church, our church, and the church universal to elevate themselves to a higher standard, that love and regard for others and transformation through the gospel of Jesus Christ is more important to me today than it has ever been.